a lot of my work is about time um, and the, the, in the deepest possible sense, from the beginning of time right up to the present day. And these paintings are a kind of combination. They're made with uh, something called machine learning, which is a, in the broadest sense what we call artificial intelligence, although that's not really a thing yet. It's definitely on its way. And you might have read about in the newspapers uh, people winning state fairs using artificial intelligence to make paintings. So I got pretty interested in this. And these paintings are made by combining um, art historical images using a neural network or an artificial intelligence, in the, and again, in that biggest sense, to make a new kind of work that's like made out of the information of pictures itself. So they're brand new. They were just made this year. Uh, the three paintings in the show, this is called Discriminator. The one in the center is called Harbinger, and the one at the end is called Generator. And for me, they kind of embody this slightly unnerving sense of that out of all of this information we've gathered together, there's a possibility of something new emerging. That the question of artificial intelligence, the reason we keep coming back to it, is I think we're a bit worried that we're making our replacement. I don't look at it that way. I think artificial intelligence is just a new kind of tool. And there was probably a time when people complained about these newfangled pencils ruining the old clay tablets. The particular kind of machine learning that I'm working with is called a generative adversarial network. It's two programs that are competing with each other. One is called the generator, which generates millions of images. And the other one is called the discriminator, which chooses amongst them which is the right one. Now, if you feed it art history, there's no right answer. So what it came up with are actually these paintings themselves. The generator, uh, the generator and the discriminator are the, both the products of the programs arguing with themselves. But when I f started feeding it um, art historical images from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, it did something very different, and it came up with this painting called Harbinger. A harbinger, for those people that don't know that word, was originally someone who was sent ahead of the king to set up the bar in the local pub to make sure there was enough liquor. Now we think of it as something a bit more sort of sinister and ominous, like the harbinger of the future. But I like to think of this rather strange character as kind of maybe it's a friend waiting for us. And one of the great questions that we're going to face as a, as a culture is as we develop computational systems and systems that are larger than us, how do we begin to understand and work with them as friends and not constantly exist in a state of fear? Because if you exist in a state of fear, then you're already on the back foot, right? You're, you're not able to understand that you're going to be, you're, you're complicit, you're a partner. So I think the opportunity of artificial intelligence in general is for us to propose a kind of ethics of seeing. We have to see these systems as potential ethical partners rather than seeing them as something out of Terminator that's just gonna extinguish all human life.